I do love a good urban park like this. This also looks like a very interesting museum. The main entrance to Club, Club Atletico Newell's Old Boys. I don't know who that guy is. It's merienda time. Afternoon snack, right? Merienda time here in Rosario. Really is a beautiful park. Welcome back to Rosario, Argentina. We're out here today, right on the edge of Parque Independencia, which is a huge, huge uh, central park here in Rosario. Big, beautiful park. It is a wonderful day outside, about unseasonably warm, like 24 degrees Celsius, like 75 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Unseasonably warm for winter in Rosario. But today we're gonna go explore Parque Independencia and see all of the cool things that are in there. So, come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you wanna help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. So Parque Independencia, very cool park. Big, big park, lots of cool stuff inside here. We're actually walking right along one of the uh, avenues, the big boulevards, Boulevard Oroño, which uh, is named after some guy named Oroño. No, I think his name was Nicasio Oroño. Anyway, he was like a senator uh, in Argentina back in like the late 1800s. And they named this boulevard after him. And Argentina actually, or uh, Rosario actually, is really interesting the way it's laid out. It's laid out in a very organized, systematic grid. Uh, the whole city is a big, basically a big grid of streets. And every 10 streets, they have uh, a big avenue like this, like Avenida Oroño. And right here, at this major intersection, this roundabout right up here, which is sort of right on the edge of Parque Independencia, you have uh, Avenida Pellegrini. And Avenida Pellegrini is one of the other avenues. It's very cool. The way it's laid out reminds me a lot of my city of Chicago. Once again, more, uh, no, gracias. Once again, more uh, similarities between Rosario and Chicago. The way it's laid out in a grid, very, very well organized, very easy to find your way around. Anyway, right here at the intersection, we have the Museum of Fine Arts. And actually, right at this intersection, on all four corners, there's a little plaza. There's a plaza there, plaza there, plaza there, and a plaza here that we're standing in front of that has the Museum of Fine Arts in it. And this is actually, was here before the park itself was built. In uh, 1902, it opened. But before that, right here at the corner of these two avenues, Avenida Oroño and Avenida Pellegrini, there were these four plazas already here. And in 1900, the city purchased more land to the south here to, uh, to make the park. And the park itself is really, really big. It's like, it's basically like the size of its own neighborhood. Um, we're gonna walk around it today and see some of the highlights but just know that it is a big park and there's a lot going on in the park. There are many gardens. There is like a big uh, man-made lake that you can get on a paddle boat and paddle boat around. Very similar to uh, Parque La Carolina, which we visited in Quito, Ecuador. Link to that video down in the description. That place uh, was also very big. Had a lot of stuff to do in it. Had a man-made lake with uh, like you could get paddle boats paddle boat around and uh, also had some interesting like um, like a botanical garden lots of interesting stuff now here in uh, Parque Independencia I can cross the street without getting run over there are also a few museums the Museum of Fine Arts right behind us that we saw and also the Provincial Museum of the uh, the uh, 
it's like a art and history museum, provincial museum and a museum of the city, city museum. And those actually, we're gonna be visiting those in separate videos, because those actually deserve their own videos. But I wanted to show off Parque Independencia in its own video as well, because basically, you can see this sign right here that shows Jardin Frances, the French garden. There's bars, Palomar Museo Historico, and also the Club Atletico uh, Newell's Old Boys, which is a uh, soccer team and athletic club here in Rosario. You can see a map of Parque Independencia here. We're like, uh, let's see, where are we? We're here. This map's upside down, actually, so that way is actually south, up that way. And we're like right here at this intersection. These are those four plazas that I mentioned. There's the Museum of Fine Arts. And uh, up through here, big, beautiful, man-made lake with this fountain in the middle where they do like dancing water shows on the weekends at night. There's a giant rose garden here. There's the French garden right here. There are athletic fields all over here, and the center of it is the Ipodromo, which is a big uh, racetrack for horse racing. Over there, there's like a municipal stadium and athletic area that anybody can use in the city. And let's see, here's the uh, Club Newell's Old Boys soccer team that I mentioned. And there's all kinds of little, like a little mini amusement park. Um, this area here, the Jardín de los Niños, the children's garden, used to be the old zoo of Rosario. And there, like I mentioned, is the museum, the Provincial Historical Museum, and the Museum of the City over there. It's covered up by that soccer, or by that uh, Newell's Old Boys uh, sticker, but it's over there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to walking. We're gonna be doing a lot of walking today, but it is a perfect, perfect day for walking around. Like I mentioned, an unseasonably warm day here in, uh, in Rosario. Strangely enough, in our last video, when we went out and visited the Flag Monument, um, it was actually kind of chilly. It was very sunny, not a cloud in the sky, but it was kind of chilly. And then a few days later, when we're out here visiting Parque Independencia, it's like 75 degrees, or you know, like 20, 24 degrees Celsius. I mean, pretty crazy. Anyway, I think the first place actually I want to check out is uh, right over here, the French Garden. We can take a quick look around the French Garden, and then I want to go across, loop around the big lake, um, around the back of the lake. I want to see the uh, Newell's Old Boys Stadium. Ah, there's just so much to see in this park, so we'll get to walking, and uh, and we'll show you all the all the cool things that are in here. All right, here we are coming up to the French Garden. And as you can see, it is uh, afternoon, beautiful sunny afternoon. There are people out having picnics. It's merienda time. Afternoon snack, right? Merienda time here in Rosario. There's a food truck over there. Another food truck down there. Great place to come, like on an afternoon, just hang out if it's a nice day. I do love a good urban park like this. All the cities we've been to so far have had big urban parks like this, some more than others. Um, and some of them are better than others for, you know, for different reasons, right? But this one is pretty cool. And one of the things that I know about this park is a lot of these gardens, uh, like this is the beautiful French garden right here, a lot of these gardens have of course like flowering bushes and flower beds in different places which of course right now even though today is a un an unseasonably warm day we are in winter so the flowers will not be blooming until the spring but I have been told I have been told that this park is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous in the spring because of all the flowers that bloom in all the gardens beautiful weather though today. It feels like spring, honestly. I mean, it's like, it's very, very warm. So here it is, the beautiful French garden. I want to head across the street past the old food truck here. 
and see the lake. Because the lake is sort of like the central, uh, I guess it's like the central feature of the park. And it's definitely the, th the thing that um, probably took the most work to create because the entire thing is man-made, right? They excavated this huge, this huge lake. And they had one of these in Parque La Carolina as well. This one's bigger. Uh, this one's significantly bigger than that one. This park is actually bigger than Parque La Carolina. Um, whereas in Quito, they had like several urban parks. And they do have like parks and plazas here in Rosario as well, especially along the river. Um, they had more, I think, in Quito, but they were all like relatively smaller. Whereas Parque Independencia here in Rosario, it's like, uh, it's big, it's real big. Here we are, the lake. There's like a little island in the middle that has some nesting water birds on it. You can rent a paddle boat and paddle your way around the lake. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm gonna walk around the back here. So you can see there are little uh, cafes and bars sort of dotted in amongst the park because there are streets run through the park, right? So it is so big, that there are streets running through it, roads, and along those streets, of course, there are businesses like cafes and restaurants. And there is actually, I am proud to say, as a US citizen, a McDonald's here in Parque Independencia. USA A OK. There's the fountain you can see in the middle. And that fountain, like I mentioned, they have uh, at night, I think on the weekends, in the evening, they have like these dancing water show, um, like, yeah, like they do like a dancing water show on the fountain. Very cool. Also very similar to my city of Chicago, where there is a giant park, Grant Park, right down by the lake, that has a big, beautiful, very famous fountain in it. I'm telling you, the similarities between Rosario and Chicago abound. Really is a beautiful park. It's especially cool to come here. We got lucky with the weather. Come here on such a beautiful day and have a bunch of people out with their dogs and like paddling around in the lake. So this road, this uh, that I'm walking on here, or this path, I don't know if this is open to traffic. I'm guessing no. Probably bikes, only bikes. There's some little uh, st stalls in here. Like up here you can see, just stall. And that's the tickets. Let's see how much this costs, by the way. Just check it out. Looks like for half an hour, pedal boat, 7,000 pesos. And a remo, which I think is like a rowboat, like this, 5,000 pesos. That's about, let's see, current exchange rate, 7,000 pesos. It's about like six bucks US, 5,000 pesos, about four, 425 maybe US. Not bad, not bad for half an hour to pedal around the, uh, the beautiful lake here. And like I mentioned, it is pretty big. Like if you go back and watch our video about La Carolina in uh, Quito, and I recommend that you do, it has a beautiful park as well. Uh, the lake was much smaller. <laughs> The lake was smaller. And I think also to rent a paddle boat for half an hour was more expensive there at La Carolina. All right, we've seen the beautiful lake. We've seen the French garden. I think now I wanna loop back around towards the center here. Or actually, I wanna loop around towards the backside of the park. And I wanna go by, there's a museum over there. And also uh, the Stadium of Club Atletico, Atletico uh, Newell's Old Boys.
Here we have the Jardin, El Jardin de los Niños, the children's garden. It's like I mentioned before, it used to be the old zoo. It's uh, on the site of the former zoo here in Rosario. Um, it looks like it costs a little bit to get in, and uh, I'm not going to go in there. <laughs> uh, I, I looked at it on the, uh, like when I was uh, doing my research about this park, and it looks like it's, you know, it looks like a fun spot, but it's mostly for kids. And I am most certainly not a kid, so we're going to leave the children's garden to the children, and we're going to continue on. The stadium of uh, the Club Atletico Newell's Old Boys. This is not the front of the stadium. I think this is actually the back side of the stadium. Let's go around to the front. Here is the uh, indoor arena for Club Atletico, Club Atletico Newell's Old Boys. Because the athletic club, not just a soccer team, they also do other sports, basketball, volleyball, um, other sports, and the indoor sports are all here, here in the indoor arena. Here it is, the main entrance. The main entrance to Club, Club Atletico Newell's Old Boys. Now, there is, of course, a long and storied history of this club, like most athletic clubs in Argentina. But Club Atletico Newell's Old Boys is actually the first club, and really the only club in Argentina, where the great Lionel Messi played. When he was a kid, when he was young, like 12, 13 years old, I think, he played here. This was the first club where he played. And right next to the Newell's Old Boys Complex, which you can see right there behind me, there is a cemetery, Cemetario El Salvador. And this is uh, the largest, if not the largest cemetery in uh, Rosario, it's one of the largest cemeteries in Rosario. There are many famous former Rosario residents uh, entombed here at the cemetery, El Salvador Cemetery, Cemetario El Salvador. And uh, we're not going to go in and explore the cemetery. Don't feel like walking around a cemetery today, although we do have a few videos of us walking around cemeteries and looking for tombs of uh of different people and i've done it in a, in different cities you know i've seen tombs of famous people in different cities but today today we want to we don't want to get sidetracked we're going to go around parque independencia and we're over sort of to the edge here so i think we're gonna head back loop back around the stadium make our way back towards uh the lake and then we can head further south in the park to see the other things that they have here in Parque Independencia. Here you get a better view of the Hippodromo. You can see the whole track, the grandstands over there. And I don't know if exactly how often they're running uh, races in here anymore. It's definitely closed right now, but this is a pretty fantastic structure. And over here, around uh, the other side of the uh, Stadio Stadium, which you can see behind me, there is this museum, the Museo Historico Provincial, the Provincial History Museum, which I'm not going to go in right now. It's named after Dr. Julio Marc, who I believe was the first um, like director of the museum. And like I said, we're not going to go in the museum right now. I wonder if this thing is even still open. I do want to visit it, if possible, if it is open. But it looks like it may not be open. Either that or this is the back door and you enter through another place. Look, if this museum is still open, and I hope it is, then I definitely want to go here, and I want to dedicate a full video to it, um, because I feel like a provincial history museum 
there's going to be enough stuff in there that it gets its own video. Definitely don't have enough time in this video to include it. Let's see. Looks like there is a different door to go in. It's right here. The front door of the historical museum. And I asked two nice people who were sitting over there if it's open usually, and they said, yeah, actually it's open right now. But we don't have time. We don't have time to go in it right now. We will come back and we will visit the Provincial History Museum and uh, we'll make a whole video about that. All right, okay, we've looped all the way back around to where we started the man-made lake here, that cafe that we walked past, and uh, looks like there's some sort of gathering happening over in this plaza over here. I don't know exactly what it is. Looks like it's wrapping up. But right over here, back where we started, we made a big loop. We saw basically the entire northern half of the park. And now I want to go back over to uh, Avenida Oroño and head south to see the southern half of the park because there's a lot more stuff to see in here. We've looped back around, back to uh, Avenida Oroño, and right here, in the center of the avenue, there is a statue to General Manuel Belgrano. Manuel Belgrano, who we remember from our previous video, the video at the Flag Monument. Because this dude, Manuel Belgrano, is the guy who planted, like, the first flag, the uh, first flag of an independent Argentina. And he planted it. He planted it alongside the river, and that's the reason why that Flag Monument exists. If you haven't seen that video, check it out, link in the description. And if we head south here along Avenida Oroño, there is, uh, right across the street here, I'm just going to hop across the street real quick and just take a look, uh, is the uh, Rose Garden. Jardín <laughs> Roseral. Jardín Roseral. Rose Garden. Now, of course, something blooming in the Rose Garden right now, even though it is a very unseasonably warm day today, uh, it's still winter. <laughs> and uh, the roses are not blooming. But we can go over and we can imagine, right? We can imagine this beautiful garden, right? All these rose beds you can see here. Just imagine all of them blooming with flowers. Here, up here around, like all through here. One of these days, probably gonna have to come back. Come back to Rosario in uh, in the spring, right? In the springtime when everything's blooming. That'd be amazing. Here is a statue of Jose Hernandez. Creador de Martin Piero. Homenaje a la ciudad de Rosario. I don't know who that guy is. Someone in the comments, tell me. Anybody? Anybody from Rosario know who that guy is? Let me know. But, I mean, imagine, right? Look at this. All of these flower beds here and imagine all of them blooming beautiful roses as far as the eye can see or at least till over there <laughs> anyway beautiful beautiful garden here another one of the beautiful gardens here in Parque Independencia Head back down this way. Back down. There's this little beautiful little hill up here too. That I think is a, a man-made hill. Has some sort of a little sculpture on top. Go over and see what that is. And there's a statue here in the middle too. I don't know who this statue is of. Let's go find out. We're here at the statue. The writing is a little worn off, but I can see this is not a statue to any famous person. It's a statue to the mothers. An honor, I think it says like, uh, I can't read all of it. It's very worn off, but I do say, see si las madres. And this is something that we've actually seen in other cities around South America. A, uh, a statue dedicated to the mothers. So it's right here in Parque Independencia. Then up here on this hill, I don't know exactly what this is. There seems to be some sort of little monument up here. Let's go check it out. 
No, up here at the top, there's just a statue. A statue of a young woman. I don't know. I don't see any signs or anything telling you who this is, if it is anyone famous, or if it's just, you know, like a little a little uh, monument up here with a statue of a young woman in it. I don't know. It's very nice though. And from up here, we can, let's see, head back down this side. Yes. So I want to go back over there to Avenida um, Oroño and continue heading south. And right here at this intersection, on the back side of El Hipódromo, the racetrack, right here at this intersection, just to the south of the uh, Rose Garden, is a museum. This is the Museo de la Ciudad, the museum of the city, Museo de la Ciudad of Vladimir Mikhailovich. Um, I don't know why it's named after Vladimir Mikhailovich, I would imagine, because he was like the first director, or he's a rich dude who spent a lot of money to, uh, to put this museum up, but this also looks like a very interesting museum from the uh, research that I've done. And we don't have time to go and look around in it during this video, but like I said, we're gonna be coming back to Parque Independencia to see more of these things in more detail. And this is one of the places we're gonna go. Museo de la Ciudad Vladimir Mikhailovich. And as we turn around, walk back towards Avenida Oroño, my heart swells with pride as I gaze upon the symbol of my homeland, the United States. There it is, the McDonald's. So, if you're ever here and uh, you're from the United States like me, and you're walking around the park, maybe you just visited Museo Vladimir Mikhailovich, and you get a hankering for like a burger and some fries, bam, there you go, McDonald's. Anyway, let's keep going south here and see. I think uh, down there, you can see a street crossing, uh, I don't know, like two blocks down. I think that's sort of the end of the park, but uh, there's a few more interesting things to see in here. So here, a little ways down from the McDonald's, <laughs> the pride of my, my nation, there is uh, the main entrance to the uh, Hippodromo. I think is like right here, the main gate. And uh, across the street, there's like uh, some other sort of venue here. Looks like, looks like they're putting up something for a concert over here. I'd imagine this is like a big event venue. Because um, it looks like they're constructing a stage right now for some sort of concert. That'd be cool, you can come here if there is a concert, and check that out right across from the Hippodromo. And uh, the building actually, that's like the front gate of the Hippodromo, is, uh, is really cool. Look at it, hold on, let's get a better look. There it is right there, the main, uh, main entrance gate to uh, El Hippodromo. Very cool, it's got this very cool sort of like art deco kind of uh, architecture very 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 interesting and uh, like I said I don't know uh, if they're still running events here regularly if they run races here or if they use it for other things like you know concerts and stuff like that I don't know if anybody knows let me know down in the comments right here across from where they were setting up the concert behind me is a uh, club Atletico Provinci Provincial which I thought actually was like a public, um, like sort of like a public athletic complex, but it's actually a club. It's a, it's an athletic club, um, similar to like Club Newell's Old Boys or you know any of the other athletic clubs that we've talked about in different videos. And uh, it looks like there is like a track here, there's some athletic fields, I know there's a swimming pool in there. And I think their stadium is actually right down here. Let's go see if we can take a look. I don't think we can get in there because we're not like a club member, you know. Um, but I, hmm, 
I see some tennis courts here and beyond the tennis courts it looks like there's like a big a big building that looks uh, very stadium like yeah see over here see this <laughs> now I'm no architect but that over there looks like a stadium Let's see if we can go around on this street here I think maybe the front of the stadium is around on the street and we can take a look there it is Estadio Cubierto Club Atletico Provincial Salvador Bonilla so there it is Club Atletico Provincial the stadium over here at the uh, like at the southwest corner of the park here along uh, this street that I don't know what it is 27th de Abril no I don't know we're on a street we're on a street and if we kept going down this way down like to the end here take a right head up that street maybe six or seven blocks we're back up at the uh, like by the uh, cemetery we're right next to Club Atletico uh, Newell's Old Boys. And that's basically it. We've seen pretty much everything there is to see here in, uh, in Parque Independencia. Of course, there's two museums we want to see. We're going to come back and we're going to do separate videos for those. Because they definitely, they definitely need their own videos. Uh, but I think that's going to be it. That's going to be it for this video. We saw a lot. We got a good walk around the park. There's a lot to see, and I really do like uh, big urban parks like this. And this is a really, really good one. Um, so it's good to come visit, especially on an unseasonably warm day like it was today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. There is plenty more content coming from here in Rosario, including those two museums that we still need to visit here in Parque Independencia. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next time.